Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayyu alladheena amanu ghuddu min absarikum. He speaks to the men first. O you who believe among the men, lower part of your gaze. Then he said to the women, وَقُلِّ الْمُؤْمِنَاتِ يَغْضُضْنَ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِنْ قُلِّ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Say to the believing men. Then he said, say to the believing women to also lower their gaze. Second. So, it is both. The man who observes and follows and the woman who plays the role in attracting as well. He said that there will be so many of them. Why do I fear this upon yourselves? Because men will begin to desire them more often and forget their salat. Forget the dhikr because that's what prevents you from that. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَخَلَفَ مِن بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةَ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ And then came after them a generation. They forgot their prayers and instead they followed their lusts. They shall meet in front of them a terrible misery. So when we leave the consciousness of our salat, the closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, what replaces it is the love of lusts and temptations.